Hi. I would like to share with you something that's on my mind today. Um, there's a there was a video that I was watching one time and it was um, talk, talking about um, the body positivity or fat acceptance movement and basically in turn there was a term that was used um, about about um, about the fat community and saying saying they're like um, crabs in a bucket and the um, anyway if you if you want to know what that that means there's an um, article on on Wikipedia um, called crab mentality which is what that's referring to, and I'm going to, I'm going to read uh, the, read from that article right right now. And it's like crab mentality, also known as crab theory, crabs in the bucket mentality, or the crab bucket effect, is a way of thinking best described by the phrase "If I can't have it, neither can you." The metaphor is d d derived from anecdotal claims about the behavior of crabs when they are trapped in a bucket, while any crab can easily start to climb out, it will nonetheless be pulled back in by the others, ensuring the group's collective demise. The analogous theory in human behavior is that members of a group will, att will attempt pr to reduce the self-confidence of any member who achieves success beyond the others out of envy, jealousy, resentment, spite, conspiracy, or comp competitive feelings to halt their progress. The same claims of about behavior are embodied in the phrase tail poppy syndrome. Okay. Now, what what this boils down to is ba basically that there, there there is going to be a group of people. Um, who, I mean, that include that does include like the fat community that is going to. Um, Pull back people from try, trying to um, trying to succeed, achieve success from trying to s trying to escape the situation there and, and better themselves. I mean, just, and, uh, and and with the fact community, I mean. Since they're they're um, in love with this uh, body positivity and fat acceptance, is that you know, when they see a f fat person uh, wanting to, wanting to um, lose weight because of because of um, of a health scare, or or they just uh, you just don't want to be fat anymore. It's like uh, other members of that community will, will try to pull that per person ba back down in, into the um, into the sa same situation they're they're in. Just like they're, in, I mean, they don't want that person to achieve success. I mean, of, of like actually losing weight because because of their uh, per perceived failures in uh, losing weight. I mean, it's like saying weight loss never works. You're never you're never going to be skinny or something something to those lines. Just uh, I mean. I can I can also see this like like uh like in the uh, LGBT community you know, like if a person wants to escape the uh, gay lifestyle um, there's going to be people in in that community that's going that's going to um, try to prevent them from from making their escape from that lifestyle and it's like like. You're born gay. You're always going to be gay, and it's like, I mean, 
that mentality is not he healthy for for people. I mean, it's like a, they they just you know you know the um, phrase misery loves company, and I have a feeling that um, people who are who are um, li living in the misery of like being fat or just um, having a lifestyle that that isn't help that isn't healthy for them and they're just go going to um they just they just want the company of uh, other people that uh that, that that's just going to feel their negativity and make them even more entrenched in their uh in their help helplessness and hopelessness just uh I mean, we should encourage. We should be encouragers. I mean, we should surround ourselves with people that would actually encourage us to change, and that would um will we'll not pass a judgment on us if we if we don't change, but we'll speak truth into our lives. I mean, I mean, people will, will, will get tired of hear, hearing negativity um, constantly, and they're they're going to. Uh, I mean, they're going they're going to seek out uh, way, ways to get out of the situation they're in, and. Um, and for, I mean, I think what the Bible says, what from from First Corinthians, Paul, Paul sa says it best that um, bad company corrupts good character. I mean, I mean the people the people you surround yourself with, um, it, it, I mean, going to determine what kind of character you have. I mean, I mean, you got you you got to get yourself out of out from that place where you're surrounded by people that are they're not going to want want you to progress beyond beyond um, where they they are. I mean, just uh, you, you just I mean, you need um, people that are they're going going to to spur you on to doing doing better for yourself and uh, that, I hope that's the kind of people that we all will want to surround ourselves with. I mean, I mean, I think about the insult community. I mean, aren't they tired of just? Uh, being around the same kind of people is saying it's ho hopeless that um, they're never going to find love or something like that. It's just, uh, and they're just stewing in their negativity, and that's and that ends up with toxic behavior. I mean, yeah, because I mean. I mean, we gotta get all of that, all, all that stew before you get cook, cooked in, into it. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's no fun being being a crab in a bucket. Just uh, you need to do everything you can to climb, climb your, climb yourself out of that bucket. Anyway, that's all I have to share with you in this video, so have a good day, and God bless you.